New tonight, imagine having to stand by and watch as water from a busted pipe floods your apartment, causing significant damage. Then weeks later, receiving notice that your rent is due. That's the current living situation for one San Antonio couple who told the night team's Dylan Collier they feel trapped. It's tonight's Defenders report. When a sprinkler pipe froze and then burst February 15th in a third floor unit at the Redland Apartments, it didn't take long for water to also invade Tiffany Carmony's first floor dwelling, forcing her and her fiance Brady to evacuate. Apartment management that day briefly made contact with the couple. It was to call to see if we had made any other living arrangements. Forced out of their apartment, Tiffany and Brady temporarily moved in with family. Within two days, they say the apartment they left behind began to take on mold. And it smelled horrible inside. Two months later, this is the current state of their unit. Gutted walls, a unit that is still nowhere near livable and no firm completion date for repairs in sight, according to the couple. But month after month, they have still had to turn in rent checks. You have now made rent payments on March 1st and April 1st for an apartment that you cannot live in. Yes, we still have to pay rent. We still get late fees if we don't, and but we can't live in the apartment because there's no there's nothing in the apartment. How can this happen? The Texas Property Code requires landlords to provide housing that is habitable, but that same chapter of the code also makes it a violation for tenants to withhold rent and even allows landlords in some cases to recover damages if that happens. The couple not wanting to make waves and end up in court may be forced to stick it out another four months or pay that many months in rent to get out of their lease. Reporting for the Defenders on the far north side, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. An apartment manager declined to comment to the Defenders about the couple's living situation and said a media relations specialist would reach out instead. We're still waiting for that call.